Hello everyone. My topic for today's presentation is exploring the city saga through gamification and the case city that has been chosen is the city of Lakes Bhopal. It's been two years wondering why is Bhopal not as famous as cities like Agra, Varanasi in spite of its rich historical background. After several research, I ended up with this problem statement that the city is not being able to create a buzz about itself because we as residents are unaware of our place. Purpose. A country like India with its huge diversified culture, traditions and a large number of tourist destinations depends predominantly on the account of knowledge that the citizens of India hold for overall development. Also, it has been rightly conveyed by Nigel Wakefield that learning from history is a way to better future since the cities tell a story of many lifetimes and generations. Why history? A rich inherited city can be easily identified by the way people live, celebrate or talk. Reviving local cultural values, developing national creativity and traditions, the historical and cultural heritage promotes cultural lifting of the place as well as the local population. For example, Mathura and Vrindavan being famous for their peculiar way of holy celebration pull thousands of tourists. The close-knit ghats of Varanasi have been the identity that attracts tourists worldwide. On the contrary, city with lost heritages remains a place with nothing attractive. London, where there are more migrants than its own native Londoners, has resulted the city being known just for its buildings and football teams, which once was famous for its people and lifestyle. Similarly, Delhi and Mumbai, a large number of people have migrated who find it difficult to merge in, resulting to a part of such cities being, being identifiable while rest lies like a shadow. Aim. My aim is to develop a digital medium in an interactive way as an attempt to generate awareness about the rich cultural background of Bhopal. My initial assumptions, considering a huge number of educational institutions in Bhopal, a large number of students turn up for admissions every year. This can be a scope to promote the city. The central location of Bhopal in the country has an incoming of travelers from all parts of India. The residents of Bhopal are unaware of their own city. No platform dedicated for exploration of city. The target audience. My target audience are the students who love to explore and have an interest in gaming. Why did I select students? Firstly, due to inflow of students every year, as mentioned earlier. They are open-minded. They have a potential to cover more geographical areas. They have limited savings account for travel. They can develop prototypes. They can create a whole new destination. They use internet to organize experience. They increase global relationships. User research. A primary survey was done with the students and fresh graduates of SPA Bhopal, considering architects and planners to be well aware of the historical background of Bhopal. 114 responses were recorded. The inferences were that they realize the importance of knowing about one's own city. Majority of the students are unaware of Bhopal and nearly 60.5% of the students depend on the digital medium to get any kind of information. A person was created for better understanding. This is Charlie, a student of SPA Bhopal a very curious emerging architect. She loves to explore but has several challenges. The college is far, far away from the city. She has to think and research a lot before going out. She has very limited time. Not flexible on weekends as well. Quite some places are closed on weekends as well. 
the hypothesis thus generated. I believe that offering a gaming experience that allows students to learn about historical past of Bhopal will raise awareness and also contribute to the promotion of the city. Now, why game? Games evoke feelings of being present. Players are able to socialize. They enhance the experience. Gamification will provide a new platform for heritage experience. A few of the famous games based on city exploration are GTA Y City, which is based on Miami. PUBG, where players use maps to locate themselves. Ireland Town was the first travel app and also was Berlin Wall and Backpackers. The Royal Route. The Royal Route is a travel app using gamification based on augmented reality, which focuses on making the player experience the historical events of a particular place. Explore major elements as well as socialize with people who are holding the same interest. Let's talk about the game flow of this design. Assuming this youngster Kevin wants to explore the city and chooses to visit Tajul Masajid of Bhopal. So here's Kevin who wants to explore Bhopal. He's confused as in where to go. He opens the Google Maps to search for attractions in Bhopal. He gets the link of the Royal Route to explore through gamification and win awards. He discovers many of his contacts, his friends are already exploring this application. He selects Tajul Masjid as his challenge and decides to go there to complete it. He finds his guide as Raja Bhoj himself through the AR feature of the application. He could view and experience history behind the monument. He wins points for clicking pictures, rewarded for completing tasks and simultaneously learning from them. He shares the pictures on Instagram and wins bonus points. He finishes his level to win rewards and qualifies for the mega round. He competes with other players to test his knowledge and win the exclusive reward. He wins the mega reward and the exclusive reward is a free local cuisine at the India Coffee House. And there he goes to India Coffee House to have his meal. The final screens. The first screen is the trigger. I'll be designing this application for Google Maps. The app will have a link through the Google Maps, considering the majority people referring to Google Maps for searching locations. This icon will redirect to the game. Landing page. The person will automatically get into the app without getting registered since he is already logged in through an ID in Google Maps. This reduces the efforts of a player. The player gets to see what his friends and colleagues are exploring, their routes, the challenges they are accomplishing, as well as the rewards they are winning in doing so through the feed page. This provides a platform to socialize. In the Explore menu, the player will be able to view challenges, his progress, as well as the ongoing challenge. The challenge is to select the place of interest which the player wants to visit and explore and try accomplishing it before the estimated time given. The faster you finish, more the points. Also, the player has the liberty to pause and resume his game as per his will. The user will be able to add friends who are exploring through the application and are in the vicinity of around one kilometer. To view the prototype, please go across the URL provided below. Exploring history through AR. The purpose of the application is to provide guided experience that makes the player aware of the historical past. Raja Bhoj is seen as the guide throughout the game, giving instruction and narrating the timeline. The user can also view the monument in its old stage simply by switching off the AR mode and on back again to see through the camera lens. 
Every person these days have a smartphone and a camera. Photography is considered to be a common interest to every single person. The app provides tasks based on photography. He clicks and edits as per his desire and wins awards based on the quality, task accomplishment as well as the time. He also receives bonus points for sharing in social media like Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The logic behind this is while sharing, the user is contributing to the promotion of the city. Every monument or attraction will have a storyline based on its history. According to that, it will also have a set of elements that in turn has a background of its own. The tasks will be reacted to sorry, related to that element in some way or the other. For example, if we consider the Tajul Masajid, this is an artwork of Tajul Masajid. Shah Jahan Begum, the founder of the monument, was fond of organic carvings. Hence, trellis works and floral pa patterns were used on the pillars of the monument. Through camera lens, we see wicked creepers resembling floral patterns hovering over the artwork. The task will be to rip them off by following the gestures indicated to maximum accuracy and force. More accuracy and less time leads to maximum rewards. The user also gets an option to know the features of that particular element simply by tapping the info icon on the right. Inspired from the Romeos who find monument walls to leave behind memories and messages, the app provides a feature to leave behind messages for friends. The tagged person gets a notification of the same and will be able to view when he comes to the place. The application should just not be a place to win, but also to learn. Hence, to ensure that a difficult stage of challenge, the quest round is made. The user needs to Qualify a certain stage to be eligible to play the quest round. A reward as good as free local cuisine is awarded. This in turn will also promote the food of Bhopal. My further scope of this project is to take ahead to other cities if it works well for Bhopal. Thank you.